think I fell in love with music uh, right around the same time I fell in love with beer. And I remember an uh, album like Prince's Controversy and hiding in my cellar and drinking my dad's Mooseheads and listening to that album and being like, holy shit, these go so well together. Um, it was a, a seminal moment for me. So right up when I started homebrewing, living in New York City, had access to awesome music and uh, at, at night I would go out and, and hear live bands and buy their albums at their show and that whole DIY aesthetic where you're buying the shirts and the albums from the musicians at themselves uh, during their breaks and they're making their own artwork and they're making their own art uh, was really informative to our process at Dogfish where we wanted to be a DIY brewery and do all this artful work ourselves and where it was like art first and business second. I definitely got that from sort of the punk and hip hop uh, movements in particular and they're really woven into the uh, DNA of, of Dogfish Head. So uh, I got a long friendship with uh, Adam Block, who's the president of Sony Legacy. Uh, we got to know each other. He'd come to beer events in New York City and I would want to talk about music and he'd keep bringing the conversation back to beer. And so we started swapping boxes in the mail of, of music that I loved and he knew I loved and beers that I thought he would love. That eventually led to us to do the collaboration with uh, Miles Davis's family for Bitches Brew, which then led to what we did with uh, Robert Johnson's family and Hellhound. Uh, and then more recently, once we knew that we were going to get to be the uh, official brewery of Record Store Day, we'd often talked about just how exponentially great it is to pair great music with uh, great beer. And uh, that we said, what if we just create a playlist that's all about that experience uh, from the start of an evening of enjoying beer and music uh, to the raucous end of an evening of enjoying beer and music together. So I had a wonderful day up in the offices of Sony. Uh, you can imagine what uh, his office would be like, literally walls lined with amazing, you know, uh, original photographs of moments in, in rock and roll history. We sat down, cracked open some rare beers, went through his collection, and just had a wonderful day of uh, figuring out some amazing songs uh, to drink beer to. So right now, that uh, the, our hard work of putting the, the set list together is done. That compilation called uh, music to drink beer to will be hitting stores on Record Store Day. Alright, so let's play some music. Actually, before we play music, I kind of got to go to the bathroom. Remember earlier I was saying first time I, I really drank beer was right around when I fell in love with good music and one of my favorite early experiences was listening to the album Controversy while drinking my dad's Mooseheads uh, in my basement of my house. This isn't like weird for me to have in my bathroom, right? It's purple. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. <laughs>